There is absolutely no denying that the belief that space is fake is the best friend of Flat Earth. It is now a conspiracy theory in its own right, and there is one man who bangs on about it more than any other. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tim Fall Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today though, a quick thank you to the sponsors of this video, Boot.dev. Boot.dev is building the smartest way to master back-end development by tackling the hardest problem with online learning, boredom. Now they use tactics from modern game design to push ambitious students towards their goal, a career in back-end development. The smartest way to learn to code is for sure to make sure you're never bored. Boot.dev is online self-paced and feels like a captivating RPG game and the platform is designed to get you writing a ton of code because getting your hands on the keyboard and shipping projects is the only real way to learn. You will earn XP's, levels, achievements and complete quests to get top spots on global leaderboards. All game features on boot.dev are designed to keep you motivated and moving towards your goal. Job ready programming skills. They even do bi-monthly boss fights where the community rallies together and gains bonus XP for all lessons completed during the event. And the absolute best thing is, if you ever struggle to understand any concepts, Boots, a powerful bear wizard that's been trained on every lesson, can walk you through your issues. He is an AI that will ask you questions to help you understand rather than just hand you the answers. Click the link in the description box and use my code SIMANDAN to get 25% off your first month or even your first entire year if you choose the annual plan. Right, on with today's video and you'll be delighted to hear that it's from our favourite demonstrable realist himself, Mr Level Earth Observer. Ironically enough, he seems to think that the space industry is illogical. I know. I know. We join him as he starts to take a look at a recent launch from China. Here we go. I just want to quickly show you how illogical the space industry is. So we've got China now launching the first batch of their G60 Constellation satellites. So essentially they're starting a new satellite program. Indeed, the idea of this network of satellites is to compete with Starlink and offer worldwide internet coverage. We've got 18 satellites on this rocket, apparently. Yes, and they plan to send up a lot more. So the first phase of this constellation consists of nearly 1,300 satellites, okay? 18 per rocket, we're up to 72 launches so far. Well, hang on, that's not necessarily the maximum payload. SpaceX can launch 60 at once. There is no reason to suggest that China will be able to do this or even more in the future. And strangely enough, is to provide services that are already up and running here on Earth, whether it be through land towers or underground cables or sea cables. So, can you not see the obvious problem here already? It should be obvious by now anyway. But think about this. This new satellite program, up and running. We're already up to 72 launches for the first phase, okay? but to provide services that we can get here on Earth far cheaper and easier to maintain. Hello? I don't think you quite understand the services that you're arguing against. For example, you cannot get a signal in the middle of the ocean with the traditional 4G or 5G technology. This satellite network means that you will be able to. And the plan is to have 10,000 of these G60 satellites, which would be over 500 launches. I think it's 555 launches to provide those 10,000 so-called satellites. Well, no, as I said, they'll eventually be able to take more up at once. Which is nonsense in itself. 
bear with me. This is an illustration of the space debris problem from last year, okay? So why would you be contributing to this nonsense by adding another 10,000 things in so-called orbit just to do the things that you can do here on Earth far cheaper, far easier, far more reliable, easier to maintain? Oh no, I'm gonna slightly agree with him here. The space debris problem is definitely a problem, but I'm not really sure how much of a problem it is to some countries. I mean, how ridiculous, how illogical is this space industry gone? It's also illogical to burn fossil fuels at the rate that we do, but we still do it because the world needs enormous amounts of power. The world also demands internet, stable internet, wherever you are. Is it just because I, I can see clearly now? But to me, it's just ludicrous. It's ridiculous. And when I speak to people about this, no one can justify it in a logical fashion. Even space believe in friends. Don't have many, admittedly. But the few I do even admit all of this is ridiculous. And it's, it's getting so illogical now. They are starting to see the cracks showing. Well, I think I've already explained the reason for it. Worldwide internet coverage, something that we cannot get with current techniques. The cracks were showing in the last video I did, where you saw so-called astronauts getting less and less convincing. But then we got China going to supply 10,000 satellites. Bearing in mind, they say these satellites are orbiting a globe, which is impossible. They say these satellites are in a vacuum, again, which is impossible given the story attached to that, a globe earth air pressure rock residing in a vacuum without solid separation. Already it's all nonsense anyway. Just by saying something is impossible does not mean that it's impossible. You have to show why it's impossible. Oh, and misunderstanding physics is not a reason for it to be impossible. And then you look at the claims. They're illogical. Why would you contribute to this mess on our screen when you can do the services that you're so-called supplying via those satellites far easier, far better here on Earth? And the infrastructure is already in place in most of the places. And that is the key. The plan for this network of satellites is to cover all of the places. Just in the rural areas where you haven't got the services, land towers and cables which if they're going to add extra service, is going to be provided via that route anyway. Now let's just go back to the video. Crazy. The only reason they do that is to try and desperately now push this globe lie. It's gotten so desperate, so obvious, so ridiculous, that they have to go to such ridiculous lengths where all these rockets and all these claims of satellite constellations that the lengths they're going to now are illogical. I mean, you have to give Level Earth Observer some credit here. He doesn't just go after NASA. He attacks almost every other space agency. And this means he's at least fair, I think. Based on the overall stories they've told. The space debris and basically how reality presents itself to us. This has gotten ridiculous. Have we got any more? Oh, so it would seem these Chinese satellites are going to provide these internet services to Europe. Oh, that's very nice of you. But I think you're forgetting something. There's already an internet infrastructure in Europe already via towers and underground cables, etc. He just doesn't get it, does he? I've been on a boat off the coast of Santorini with absolutely no internet signal whatsoever. It was annoying, yes, but the point remains. There isn't internet signals everywhere. And China's plan is to rival Starlink, so that is a worldwide system, isn't it? Hello? How ridiculous does this have to get? If any services are being implemented in the future, it's obviously not coming from space, is it? It's coming from towers and cables that will be put up. But this has just gotten so silly, so illogical, and so ridiculous at this point in time. 
you've got to be pretty, I don't wish to be rude, you've got to be pretty dull not to see it now. The personal incredulity is off the charts with Level Earth Observer, isn't it? His entire argument here is, well, we've got internet anyway, so why send up satellites? As I said, I don't think he quite understands what he's arguing against. Well, there we go. Another Tim Ford Tuesday successfully completed, and I have to say that we're all done and dusted. Let me know what you all think about Level Earth Observer's video in the comments below. But for now, thanks so much for watching. It is, of course, truly appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be fantastic. Uh, and subscribing to the channel too would be very much appreciated. Just enough time to once again thank boot.dev for sponsoring today's video. Uh, click the link in the description. Use my code SIMANDAN you get 25% off your first month or even your first year if you choose the annual plan. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great couple of days and I'll see you on Friday for the return of Flat Out Truth. What's he got for us now? See you then. <laughs>